friends, it's Miss Rachel here once again to tell you another fun exercise that we can do to keep our bodies strong and healthy. So today, we are going to make a fruit and vegetable smoothie. I don't know if you've ever had a smoothie before, but they are delicious and they're awesome because they're so healthy for you. Because usually they're made out of a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables. And today, we're gonna use our giant imaginations and we're gonna pretend that we have a huge blender in front of us because you usually make smoothies inside a blender. And we are gonna fill our blender with a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables and then turn it into a smoothie that we can drink. All right, now friends, you're gonna stand back here. Remember, your blender is right here in front of you. And the first thing we need to do is pick some apples and put some apples inside our blender. Now, does anybody know where apples grow? I'm sure someone said a tree. And you're right, because apples grow on a tree. So you can pick any kind of apples you want, green ones, red ones, yellow ones, but you have to reach up and pick a whole bunch of apples just like this. Keep picking apples. Get as many apples as you can. Fill your arms with apples. So many apples. Move those arms super fast. And now, we have a lot of apples and dump them inside that blender. Okay, now the next thing that we need are bananas. Who knows? Where do bananas grow? If you said a tree, you are right. So we have to actually climb a banana tree and get some bananas. So hang on tight to the tree and move those legs and climb all the way up to the top of the banana tree. Keep climbing, keep going, we're almost there. And now we're at the top. Hang on to the top of the tree and pick some bananas. Get a whole bunch of bananas. Don't fall out of the tree. Oh, look, there's a monkey over there. Share a banana. Always share a banana. And now hang on to the rest of these bananas and carefully climb back down the tree. Climb all the way down to the bottom. Don't drop your bananas. And now drop all the bananas inside the blender. Don't worry about the peels. We have a magical blender. Now the next kind of, actually it's a vegetable. I almost said fruit but it's actually a vegetable. We need carrots. And guys, do you know where carrots grow? If you said a tree or a bush, that is not correct. Instead, carrots are awesome because they're a root vegetable, which means they are the root of the plant. And roots grow underground. So to get a carrot, there's a green plant that grows out of the ground and the carrot is under the dirt underneath. So what we have to do is hold on to the top, grab all the green part and pull the carrot out of the ground. Now use your other hand and pull another one and get another one and 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 another one. So many carrots. Now put those carrots inside the blender. Okay, cool. Now the next one that we need are strawberries. And strawberries, they grow on a very small plant. And there's just a couple of strawberries that grow on each plant. So we're gonna bend over and we're gonna stretch a little bit and carefully pick a couple of strawberries because you don't wanna squish them when you pick them. They can sometimes be a little squishy. Get some from over here too. Get some from the middle. And now our hands are filled with so many strawberries. Put them in the blender. Okay, now. We need more vegetables, and we're gonna put a leafy vegetable in there. We're gonna add kale. Now, kale, it's like a lettuce. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is in the lettuce family, so it is a leafy plant. So we have to bend over and grab some leaves. Grab some leaves off of the kale. Just pull those big kale leaves off, and now put those in your blender. And the last thing we need is a great big watermelon because a watermelon is the biggest kind of fruit that I can think of. And do you know where watermelons grow? Again, it is not a tree. So many of my friends, whenever we're in class and we ask that question, where do watermelons grow? So many kids say, a tree! But in fact, they grow on a vine. So a vine is a long, windy plant, a very long, windy plant. And the watermelon grows attached to the vine. So it's got a little stem, and then the watermelon starts small, and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a huge watermelon, okay? Now, we're gonna pick up this big watermelon and yank it off the vine, yank it! Okay, that's a huge watermelon. Put that whole watermelon in there. Again, don't worry about the rind. We have a magical blender. 
And guys, it is time for us to turn on this blender and make our smoothie. And usually when you use a blender, you push buttons. We don't have any buttons on our blender. Instead, what we have to do is use our feet and our legs and our bodies. We are the blender. So we are gonna scoot our blender back a little bit and then take one foot and step inside it and take the other foot and get inside it. We are inside the blender and it is so squishy. We have all of our fruits and vegetables and the first thing we have to do is we have to chop them up into tiny pieces. And the way we're gonna do that is by jumping our feet apart together, all right? Now, while we jump our feet apart together, we have to do it while we count to, let's say, 10, okay? 10 is a good number. All right, on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of tiny pieces, but I think we need even tinier. So let's do it again, all right, for 10. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now I think the pieces are tiny enough and we have to make it mushy. So to make it mushy, we have to stomp on it. So you're gonna take your feet and stomp on it. Stomp as hard as you can, but we need to stomp way faster than this. So we have to stomp like this and use our running in place again. Now while we run, let's count to 10 in Spanish. Here we go. And uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right. I don't know if it's mushy enough. It's pretty mushy. My shoes are getting very, very dirty with lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. Pretend dirty, of course. Now, we have to do it one more time for 10. Here we go. And on your marks, get set. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, now, last thing. Oh yeah, that's super mushy, oh my goodness. Now, last thing, we have to stir it up. So put your feet together and put your arms up like this, and we have to turn into a spoon. So we're gonna jump and turn and mix it up, all right? So let's do that when we count to five, because we don't want to get too dizzy. Here we go. And on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, I'm a little dizzy. Let's do it one more time and see if we can turn the opposite way. So I turned this way the last time, so this time I'm gonna go this way, all right? Now, arms up, feet together, on your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, that was some fun turning. And friends, I think our smoothie's ready. So take your feet out, oh my goodness, and shake all the smoothie off of your feet. <laughs> Let's get that smoothie off. Now, pick up your blender, hold it by the handle, and get your smoothie cup. And you're gonna pour your own smoothie, so be careful not to spill, here we go. Pour it in there. All right, get every last drop, shake it out if you need to. And now, okay, we've got our smoothie cup full. And our blender, it needs to be washed. So where should we put it? You're right, in the sink. That's where we put dirty dishes. So we're gonna put it in the sink. And now let's try this smoothie, here we go. Mm, guys, this is the best smoothie I have ever had in my life. Let's drink the rest of it, here we go. Mm. And it's so healthy, I can feel my body getting stronger. And now friends, my smoothie cup is empty. So what should I do with this? Should I just leave it out for somebody else to take care of? No way! You gotta put it in the sink. So put it in the sink. All right. Now friends, great job making that smoothie. I hope yours was as delicious as mine. And I will see you next time.